So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to the first link, which will be down below in the description. It's the .NET Microsoft one. You're gonna scroll down and then click on download. It's gonna start downloading automatically. If it doesn't, then you're gonna click here to download it manually. But now we're just gonna wait for this to load. Now once that's been done, we're gonna click on it. And then click on install. And then click on yes. Wait for this to load. If you get this and click on yes, wait for this to load. And now once that's been installed, we're gonna click on close. And now you're gonna head over to the second link, which will be down below in the description. We're gonna begin the DirectX user runtime web installer. You're gonna scroll down, select your language, and then click on download. If it does not download automatically, you're gonna click on this, which will download it for you. Now you're gonna click on this, and then click on yes. Click on I accept, click on next. You can untick this, click on next, wait for this to load, and then click on next. Wait for this to load, wait for this to load, and now once that's been installed, you're gonna click on finish. And now for the last step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. You want to run it as administrator, and then click on yes. And now once you're on this, you're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Click on enter. And now you want to run this scan. Now once this scan has been completed, you just want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed.